Welcome to AOK2 Power Boats. We're going to start with our factory tour in our tooling department. So we are here, actually we get to see the master genius at work at this moment. But where, where it all starts is data design and tool and build the part as is. Like so, but it may be out of wood, out of PVC, out of lots of bondo, lots of sanding. Uh, everything that he does, he does it by hand. And if it's written down somewhere, it may be on a napkin or something, but it's all in his head. We don't put it in a computer system. If we put it in a computer system, it would say abort, abort. There's no way that you can make a mold out of this because of all the designs and everything. That's what makes him the master genius at this. So we start here and then we go, after we've made the part, we make the mold from that part. So then after the molds are made, we go to lamination. Since we've been here since, uh, let's see, July, 2020, We've, uh, Dad's built over 75 different molds. We you know, now have eight models, and each of those models have live well boxes, have fish boxes, battery apartment um, housing, all of our consoles, the console boxes, the lean-in post box, all this. So all of these are molds that he has built with his hands since July of 2020. And we are now December 2023. All right, so we take the mold. The mold is like a cake pan. It's in reverse, we wax it up, we spray the colors. So if you've got a white hull, we spray it white, sea foam. Anyway, the color is laid down first. After that cures, we use a uh, chopper gun and it's strings of glass and resin and catalyst mix and we spray the part and we hand lay all of that. And then we hand roll it, everything. Uh, we also have our stringer system, that's a separate mold. We mold it in into the hull as well. Then after we're finished with the part and lamination, we go to subassembly. So in subassembly, we take our hull and our deck and we'll build it out. We'll put the gas tank in, we'll put the bilge pump in, live wells on our deck. We'll do our aerators, all of our hose, our through hull fittings. We take our stringer system, we add the foam to it and we'll put in you know, the battery, run all of our hose and our pipes and everything, all of our wiring that we need. Then we'll take the deck and we'll add the fish box. We'll glass all of those in, the fish box, the live wells, and then we'll flip, flip it over. We'll put the grab rails in, cut holes for our hatches and our, all of our compartments, put in rod holders, all of our cup holders, and then we take a bonding putty and we go along our stringer system and then all around the edge of the boat and then we'll, we do what we call capping and we'll cap the boat and we'll put the deck on top of the hole and then it bonds together with the bonding putty. We'll go back, trim it around, put the rub rail on and send it to final assembly. So in the meantime, uh, our console department is steadily building out consoles getting them ready to go into the boats after we cap them. When they hit the line, we'll tie in all of our hoses, we'll put all the lids on, we'll add our upholstery, set the console in, wire it all together, sit it on the trailer, add the engine, and then send it out the door. Let's go to upholstery. Show you what we do there. So we custom built all of our upholstery. So we cut like the boards out in our wood shop. We foam, like we cut and add the foam to all of our parts. You can get your base one color, the boxing a different color, piping another color. You, get, you can get diamond, you can get octagon. Uh, it's kind of just, I mean, it's completely custom. So it's just whatever your imagination allow for. That's what we can do in upholstery. We have a great upholstery team. We're never having to wait on them before a boat goes out. Behind this door, we have our parts department. When we have a boat that goes into production, it has a build sheet. And so we'll pull the parts for each department so that they have it for that specific um, whole, and whole ID number. Okay, and then um, our wood shop. is We really don't cut wood unless Dad needs it for tooling, but we cut all of our plastic for our lids. We cut the plastic for our upholstery. We build our own rod holders, inspection plates, we cut all of those. We even 
designed and built my flip-flop cooler seat that we built all the parts here. All of our parts for lamination are cut in this department too, the honeycomb and the plastic that we use in, in our build process. So that concludes our tour of the ALK2 Power Boats. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all out on the water and everybody in your new ALK2.